Before starting this video, in case if you are not subscribed my channel, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Now you can also follow and contact me via Instagram and Facebook. The link will be given in the description. So today's video will be on how you can send the data from ESP32 to a Python. So this will be basically via UDP. So let's straight away get started without wasting any time. So this is our VSC terminal where we are going to uh, check this. So first of all, you need to import two libraries. One is PyIDO. So in case if you get any difficulty in installing this Py audio, uh, you can check my link which will be given in the description. What you need to do is pip install Py audio. In case if you get any difficulties installing this, I've already put up a video where how you can install this. Uh, you can see through that video and install it. So the next uh, library which we are going to install is import socket. So this can be easily um, installed so there no need to be any difficulty in this so right after this we are going to add frames so here is a format and channels and rate and the chunks which you are going to form so right after this uh, here is a UDP uh, where the socket is going to connect it to the uh, port number and uh, the I, uh, uh, IP address so it uh, gets the IP address and the port number and connects it via uh, UDP bind helps us to bind the IP address and the port number select the port number whatever you have selected with uh, ESP32 so here I have put up the IP address as 0.0.0, .0 and the port number as 8192 and it bytes to connect to the UDP so, now next comes the Pi uh, uh, audio where you are going to use Pi audio to listen whatever data is being sent uh, from the ESP32 to hear it. Now this Pi audio you are going to stream it. Uh, you are going to stream it in different format. Now we will try it where the data is being received and it is stored in the variable data and we are going to print that data whatever is being received and stream the right data once data is being received then it will print a uh, shutdown and uh, it will terminate the audio so this is how the code works now just quickly uh, run through it so i'll just uh, save this code and python server dot py so as you can see it will take some time to run and so uh, now we are going to use our uh, python server to run now one thing you need to make sure is your esp32 and your uh, wi-fi is connected to the same uh, network so let's just get start so I am going to press the button over here and it will be heard. This is how the data is received and it can be uh, data is received and it can be uh, for completed in any or uh, it can be converted in any format to listen through it and uh, thank you that's it. If you want more information about the video please contact me via uh, email and please subscribe my channel thank you